everyone. It's Rhonda here from the Clever Corvette Art and Art Workshops. So today we're going to do some color mixing. We're going to use these pencil crayons, just these five pencil crayons, to mix as many colors as your imagination could think of creating. The possibilities are endless. Yep, just these five pencil crayons. This is all that you need for today's workshop. Some paper for yourself, just regular printing paper. You need a yellow pencil crayon, a red pencil crayon, and a blue pencil crayon, black and white, and a pencil, and maybe an eraser if you want it. That's it. So one long time ago, I was taught this technique called reverse Oreo cookie layering. Well, we know that an Oreo cookie starts with a dark outside cookie, an inside light filling, and then a dark outside cookie again. Hmm. But what does it mean to be a reverse Oreo cookie layering technique. Well, what that means is instead of it being dark, light, dark, we're going to do light, dark, light. This is going to be the premise for the technique that we're going to be doing for this whole workshop. Anytime we do any coloring, we're going to start with a light color first, then we'll put a dark color, and then we'll put a light color again. Reverse Oreo cookie layering. Let me explain that a little bit further with the next demonstration. In the art world, we have something called a color wheel. On the color wheel are the three primary colors. The primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Primary colors are colors that cannot be created with other colors. They are pure hues. So what that means is they've been extracted from nature exactly like this. Things were not mixed together to create these colors. Of course, these pencil crayons are made with a combination of synthetic and organic materials, but originally this red would have been extracted by nature, this yellow, and this blue. Things weren't mixed together to make these colors. But in the art world, we also have other colors, not just red, yellow, and blue. We have secondary colors. Those colors are orange, green, and purple. Secondary colors are a combination of two primary colors. So red and yellow makes orange. Yellow and blue makes green. Blue and red makes purple. Now remember I mentioned something called reverse Oreo cookie layering? We know that an Oreo cookie is dark then light then dark but we're doing the reverse of it. So the reverse of an Oreo cookie would be light, then dark, then light. And that's how we do color layering. So if I wanna make orange, I'm going to use yellow first, because we know that orange is made with a combination of red and yellow. Then I'm going to put my dark color. And then I'm going to put my light color back over top again. And magically, I have created orange. Reverse Oreo cookie layering. So how would I make green? You've guessed it, light, dark, light. So yellow,
then blue. then yellow. There's green. Now I'm going to make purple using reverse Oreo cookie layering. Now this one gets tricky. Which one do you think is lighter, red or blue? It's kind of hard because to me, they look the same. So I'm going to start with red. Now when you're doing this technique, you never press hard. You go nice and lightly. So there's my first layer. Red. Now I'm adding the blue. And then I'm adding the red again. Look at that. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And I only used primary colors to create them. So we know that our primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. You cannot mix colors together to get them. You can't mix purple and orange together to get red. You can't mix purple and green together to get blue. Primary colors cannot be made. They are pure. Secondary colors can be though. Red and yellow makes orange. Yellow and blue makes green. Blue and purple. Blue and red makes purple. So we have primary and secondary colors. But did you know there's also tertiary colors? A tertiary color is made when you mix a primary color with the secondary color that's beside it. So this would become a reddish orange. This would become a yellowish orange and so forth. There's a little bit of a formula that you use to actually color these. So let's take a look at that. Red is a pure hue, but orange is a combination of red plus yellow. Yellow is a pure hue. Green is a combination of blue plus yellow. Blue is a pure hue. Purple is a combination of blue plus red. So this color, this tertiary color, is blue plus red plus red. This color is red plus red plus yellow. What would this one be? Red plus yellow plus yellow. This one? Blue plus yellow plus yellow. Blue plus blue plus yellow. Blue plus blue plus red. Are you confused yet? It's only going to get a little bit more complicated, I promise. Now here's where things get interesting because we still want to use reverse Oreo cookie layering, <laughs> but we've got these extra colors to add to it. How are we going to do this? Let's start with this one. We know that we're making an orangish red, so we know we have to go light then dark, then light. But if we keep it like that, it's the same as that. And we have to add more red to it because that's what the formula says. So I'm going to just add one more layer of red to it. See what that's done? It's still orange, but it's darker than this, but it's not as red as this. It's red, red, yellow, or a reddish orange. This one is more challenging because we have double the light. So what I recommend is that you put one layer of yellow, and then you put a second layer of yellow. 
And then when you put the red, try not to press as hard. Keep it nice and light. And then go back in and add more yellow. And it works. See, it's not as dark of an orange as that. And it's not pure yellow. It's got double the amount of yellow. So it's a yellowish orange. That's a reddish orange. That's a yellowish orange. Do you think you'd be able to fill all of these in? Let's give it a try. tertiary colors. I made a reddish orange, a yellowish orange, a yellowish green, a bluish green, a bluish purple, and a reddish purple. And you know, Crayola does fun things with these and they make different colors, like different color names like chartreuse and indigo and uh, geez, magenta and things like that, tangerine and banana or whatever. And they come up with really fun names. You could keep on going and going with this. Could you imagine if you added blue plus blue plus red plus blue plus red plus red and kept on going on and on and on? That would be quite the challenge. But we're going to stop at tertiary colors because uh, my mind is tired. But here's the thing. What if you didn't want just a plain old blue? What if you wanted a really dark blue or a really, really light blue? Well, we're going to have to introduce the black and white pencil crayons. So let's go back to our reverse Oreo cookie layering theory and see what we can do. Let's start up with a primary color in the center here. So let's take some blue and let's nicely just fill this in. Now let's say I want to make this blue a little bit lighter here. So reverse Oreo cookie layering is going to come into effect and I'm going to put a nice light coat of white on here. Don't press too hard. Now I'm going to put another nice light coat of blue on here. Again, don't press too hard. And then I'm going to put white on top because we know that reverse Oreo cookie layering is white, then dark, then light. What if I want it really, really light? Well, I'm going to put one layer on, then I'm going to put another layer on. Then again, I'm going to try to be very light with my coloring. And then I'm gonna add more white on top. There, that is a little bit lighter, I would say. Just a little bit. I could even go back and just make this a bit darker, but not as dark as this. That's why it's important not to press too hard with the pencil crayon because if you press too hard, then the pencil crayon just start, stops working. It gets too much wax buildup. But if you just do nice light layers, you'll be good to go. There, that works. See the difference? Blue, a little bit lighter, and the lightest. Now let's go the other way. So if we're gonna go darker, then we have to do light, then dark, then light, right? Nice light layer of blue, a layer of black, and a layer of blue. And 
nice dark blue. And of course, if I want it even darker, here's my layer of blue. And black. Remember, don't press hard. Then blue. Then add one more layer of black. And then blue, like a double decker reverse Oreo cookie. From lighter to darker, not bad. What if I wanted to make a dark green? Hmm, I've got these three colors. I guess I'll start by making my green. Always starting with the lightest color first. That's a pretty common rule in art, is when you're mixing colors together, or you're adding one color on top of the other, you always start with the lightest color first. So here I go with my next darkest color. because I need to make green. I'm gonna add a layer of yellow back in. And now I wanna make this darker with a light layer of black. Look at when I stop halfway, you can already see that it's changed to a darker shade of green. I'm going to add another layer of blue. Blue pencil crayon is a little bit scratchy. And then I'm going to top off my reverse Oreo cookie layering. with, oh, this darn pencil crayon, a little bit of yellow. Sometimes pencil crayons just don't work the way you want them to. They have a little bit of clay in them and that gets scratchy. Clay wax pigment. Ooh, that's a nice dark green. Let's top it off with some yellow. So see? You can take a secondary color and make it lighter or darker just by using the reverse Oreo cookie layering technique. So I want you to take the scribble challenge. Fill up your page with fantastic lines of any variety you want. Maybe some shapes. I want you to take on the challenge of using monochromatic one color theory. Mono meaning one, chromatic meaning color. So it's one color and tints and shades of that color. And I want you to color in this whole art piece that way. So you can use either different lights and darknesses of orange or lights and darknesses of green, or lights and darknesses of purple. But you can't cheat. You have to use just primary colors, black and white. 
You can't use an orange pencil crayon. You can't use a purple pencil crayon or a green pencil crayon. I'm going to start. There. I just colored in a section to give you an idea of what it looks like to do the monochromatic color theory, just using these four pencil crayons. So now what I can do is I can play around with outlining this and doodling in it, and I'm going to do just that. And if you haven't checked out my workshop that I've posted on my YouTube channel on expressive line, you might want to go check that before you do this because it'll be really fun to put expressive lines all over this art piece. super fun and I don't even have to stop here if I don't want to. I could go in and start doodling things and writing words and names and all kinds of shapes and designs can go all through here if I want it to. But for now I'm going to leave it at this and I really hope that when you come up with your own design your imagination takes over. We learned a lot of stuff today. You learned about primary colors, secondary colors and how to create secondary colors with primary colors and tertiary colors. And then you had like a weird letter formula that you had to go through to create those tertiary colors. We learned about reverse Oreo cookie layering and monochromatic color theory with this super fun coloring project. So I'm gonna leave you with some homework. I want you to find out on your own what achromatic color theory is. And I also want you to tell me if you know what analogous color theory is. Hmm. Put your thinking cap on, do a little bit of research, do some artwork, and we'll see you with the next workshop. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe. And remember, think art. <music>